Wasn't talking to you, Maybelline. Okay, I guess the rest of you, please follow me. We'll take the short walk up the hill to the resort. Sounds fun, right? Yay! Um, Quinn, where are you going? Quinn is skipping past Lila, unbuttoning her blouse. Some of us want to explore the beach a little first. We'll, we'll meet you guys at the hotel. If this button's stuck, Nikki... Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sure. It's better you're coming to the beach with us, right? Um... He can handle himself. To slip off your shoes to step on the beach. The fine, smooth sand wor warming your toes. I can't speak correctly. Ah, uh, that's nice. Yeah! Nice thing. This must be heaven. Rod spreads his arms and falls backward into the sand with a deep sigh. Isn't he the big guy? Yep, yep, I'm just staying here all week. I'm never, ever moving again. Can someone get me a beer? Oh, this beach is nice. Just too bad Nick's here. Wow, you're a bitch. <laughs> then again, I did call you for a bit more. Ha, nice one, Meech. Call me Meech again, and I'll rip your spine up by your stupid hair. Oh, dang, I do not like it. Quinn bounces over to you. This magical is almost like we have the whole island to ourselves. So peaceful, that water looks amazing. What should we go swimming? Who says we can't? Come on. Wee! If you're a good swimmer. I'm pretty much an Olympian. Good, because I'm not the best at it. So if anything happens, you just carry me and give me CPR, okay? Sure, I'll be your hero. The water is warm and welcoming, it's soothing currents curling around your life. Whee! Are you always this spontaneous? No, I wasn't always like this fast. The last year I tried to make the most out of every day. Then fall silent. Ha. Good, get it. You're pretty spontaneous yourself. And she sparks and splashes you back. Ha, hey! Slash each other, dressing yourselves. Quinn rushes towards you, then trips and falls on you. Fall onto your back to the surf with Quinn on top of you. Oops. Don't apologize to me. Because I literally she pulls off you. Nick, look. Something small and dazzling leaps out of the water and unfurls its wings that gleam like jewels. It's one of them fishies! Uh, or a magical seahorse! With butterfly wings! That's a thing. Why not? The creature flutters in front of Quinn, its iridescent wings catching the sunlight. It zips off somewhere. This is just happened. Have you ever seen anything like that? Some of us have species we've never even heard of before. Quinn turns back towards the shore. Guys, did you see that? Oh, who cares? Did you see this? <laughs> right, everyone else already went up to the hotel. Come on, let's catch up. Who's going to carry my bag? They missed it. It was incredible. Only once you saw it, it's almost like we shared a secret. I had a waterproof phone. Look, I just want to get a waterproof phone. That's what I want. That's what I want in life. That's my goal. <laughs> just to get a waterproof phone. That's my only goal in life. Other than that, I'll just like take naps all day. <laughs> I'm glad you're with me, Nick. Wee. Me too. You could head back up to the beach and get dressed. We're drenched. Do we have a towel? In this, you notice Jake heading toward the cold tower, control tower at the end of the airship. Carlos, where the hell are you, man? Okay, Nick, we're gonna catch up with you at the hotel. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna help Jake. We'll catch up with you later. I'm gonna go help out Jake. Cause I'm a nice guy. Oh, Jesus. You guys have your dick. So it's cool if I join you? If you miss it for everything? No, I'm gonna scout. I'm gonna scout. Nah. Can't speak. 
Then you scale, you scale the rickety rusted stairs of the control, of the tall control tower. The rainforest stretches out before you, vibrant and lush. This place is gorgeous. You fly out here a lot, Aragorn. Here and every other privately owned resort island in the Caribbean, the favorite young, vac the favorite vacation spots of the young and the privileged. You don't sound like you like it much. Hey, it pays the box tab. <laughs> What gets anyone anything necessarily out of Blaine, a pilot license, and a, dis a dishonorable discharge, <laughs> and an empty bank account? What is this anyway? 20 questions? Sorry. But, I'm from Louisiana, and if bearing rich jerks around a couple times a week is the price I gotta pay to never set foot back there, hell, I'll pay it. Been sleeping in a beach hammock in Costa Rica ever since. That sounds awesome. Well, you're into it. Why do you sound so surprised? Oh no, most people think it's weird. They want the big house, picket fence, two kids playing in the yard. I'm not in. I'm not. I'm in, not into most people. I'm not most people. Okay, I don't know what he said. All right. He looks at you like he's really seeing you for the first time. No, Boy Scout. I guess you're not. You climb the tower stairs when a step crashed into beneath you. You start to fall through. Oh no! Gotcha. Rest the fragments of the bells. Step twirls and plunge 50 feet to the ground. 50 feet? That's a lot of feet. Yeah, you only one. Come on. Finally, you reach the top of the tower. Jake pushes open the door to the control tower. Carlos, you dumb. Hey, what the? There's no one there. So eerie. There's no one here. Thanks, evil eyes. I couldn't tell. You wander by the desk and drag your finger across it. It comes up dusty. Are you sure they still use this airstrip? Of course I'm sure. I was just here a few days ago. And I'm dang sure. Sorry, there's someone here. He trails off. Jake? You turn to find him staring past you through the window, encaptured but enraptured, not encaptured, enraptured by what he sees. I see pretty lights. There's pretty lights as well. That's cool. In the distance, the island itself pulses with red and blue light, colors flooding over the trees, tinting the atmosphere in a rippling aura. Aurora. What? On his think you. I'm not a weirdo. It's magically drawn, you drift toward the window, captivated by the beautiful colors, and place your palm on the glass. Why isn't this bright? It needs to be bright. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, my eyes. Guys, don't look again. It's gone. Jake, did you see that? What was that? Jake blinks, still dazed. Jake! Uh, I don't know. Don't much care either. Jake ducks out of the control tower. You hesitate a moment, looking back to see whether the aurora returns. But everything appears as it should. You and Jake gradually wind your way up the paved, wo paved road. When you're beginning to fatigue, you're beginning to fatigue when you come around the bend and see it. This is it, huh? Been this island 50 times? I've never been off the airstrip. Awesome! That's a cool hotel, the Celestial. Well, come on then, you paid me to bring you here, so this is what I'm doing. So we head toward the lobby, passing under a grab deck. Did anyone actually stay here? Are you just taking off again after this, or are you just stick around a while? I just need cars to get my flame refuel, then I'm off. Got a bottle of Anna Joe calling my name back in Costa Rica. Try not to miss me too much, Boy Scout. I the door slide open welcomely, and you the crisp air conditioning off the lobby. And you freeze. Ugh. What the? Rest the rest of your group is standing in front of you, bewildered. Beyond them, the entire lobby is devoid of a life. I, I don't understand. The silence is deafening. The front desk stands deserted. Suitcases and luggage carts lie unattended. On the table, 
A half-finished wine glass gathered, gathers dust. Hey, Nick, uh, do you happen to know where the hell is everyone? Contacting server. Well, that was anticlimactic. It's available. And your friends are blah. Time to panic or party. It's party time, losers. Choices affect your relationship with everyone you meet. This chapter is brought.